Okay, starting next. Okay, starting next year, Huawei is dropping Android in place of their own in-house Harmony OS. It's official, this is happening. And on one hand, I think this is brilliant news. I love the idea of going into a store to pick a smartphone and actually having three operating systems to choose from, iOS, Android, and Harmony OS. Besides, I love Huawei phones. For the last three years, Huawei is probably the only company whose launch events I've been consistently excited for. I've almost got used to the fact that when Huawei launches a new flagship phone, it's going to be world's first at something, and it's going to be world's best at some other things. So this is also good news in that it means Huawei phones aren't disappearing anytime soon. These past two years have been just brutal for the company. They were banned from selling phones in the US, then they lost access to Google, then they lost their 5G infrastructure in a lot of places around the world. And while all this is happening, one by one, Huawei's collaborators have slowly but surely pulled away. And I'm just sitting here gawping at the fact that they are still standing and fighting back. Like literally three days after the UK government announced that Huawei will be ripped out of our 5G infrastructure, Huawei announces that they're about to drop 10 million pounds building three flagship experience stores in the UK. This company is nothing if not persistent. But you probably saw this coming. Okay, starting next year. The same way that on games consoles, which have fairly underpowered hardware, developers can still create beautiful software because it's built with that exact hardware in mind. Huawei actually said back in 2019 that Harmony OS is so simple and efficient that one line of code in Harmony can do the work of a hundred lines of code in Android. That is a vast claim. And although it doesn't really mean much without context, I wouldn't be surprised if Harmony OS devices can run faster while consuming less battery. And they will be able to run Android apps. I double checked this just before making this video, so that means Huawei won't have to start from scratch with its app library, which is what a lot of people were worried about. Plus, the final and main benefit is that Harmony is a distributed operating system, which means it can basically run on anything, everything from your watch to your toothbrush. There's a real TV that you can buy that runs Harmony OS, and they're locking in deals now to try and build it into major brand appliances, as well as apparently 5 million cars by next year. The idea being that all of these devices running the same operating system can communicate each other without you needing to do anything. They'd have this kind of shared intelligence. For example, let's say I'm playing music from my phone to one set of speakers in one room. If I then walk to another room, my speakers will be able to communicate with my phone and know that I've changed room, so they'll know to change the audio output from that room to that room. There's a lot of misinformation about what Huawei's actually up to right now. They're making Android phones, but with no Google services. They have their own app store, but some things are missing from it. Huawei has their own operating system they've developed from scratch called Harmony OS. This is huge news. You know, I tried to start learning German because my dad is Swiss German, right? And so I was like, I want to learn his language because I never learned it growing up. And then someone was they were like, why don't you learn Swiss? And then I heard Swiss and I was like, no. Um, I want to rather learn German. And so I learned German because uh, I thought it would bring us closer together, right? Because uh, I love For the past seven years, Pope Francis has been shaking up the Catholic Church as we know it. But now the old Pope has stepped in saying enough is enough. Controversy is swirling at the Vatican as two popes, one retired and one reigning, appear at odds. And now former Pope Benedict is weighing in. On shelves this morning, the much anticipated and already wildly controversial new book, From the Depths of Our Hearts. The book, which is written in part by Pope Benedict XVI, defends the church's practice of celibacy among priests. But it comes at the same time Benedict's successor, Pope Francis, is. <laughs>